Hi, it's me again. I'm just uh, about to uh, go into a little bit of depth on uh, rigging and the cutout animation style. Um, and cutout animation is the method of uh, cutting characters and elements down into segments um, and then individually animating those segments or you know setting them up so that can be so that the animation can be economized by by uh, saving a hell of a lot of pencil mileage uh, once you've set up a character with um, with in the cutout style you probably don't have to draw much at all at least that's the idea draw as little as possible once the character set up so um, here I'm just going to uh, do a really basic example. Um, I'm going to create a three segment limb and give you a look at uh, how to set up the uh, the rig and actually uh, it's basically just to demonstrate how easy it is and because the rig once you've um, put these elements in hierarchical order uh, the rig is automatic. It's it's set up the bones and joints. So the way to do that is um, here. I've got three segments. I've got an upper arm, forearm, and a hand. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> and I'm going to um, distribute these. Put them all on their own layers. Now in Animate Pro 2 and Animate 2, you have uh, this button over here. Distribute to layers. Um, I can just press that and get rid of the one that I haven't got uh, that I hasn't got anything on it. Uh, so now I have three layers. Now, if you don't have Animate Pro 2 or Animate 2, you won't have this button. It's new. So just um, copy and paste the segments onto their own layers, as uh, as you might have seen in the introductory chapters. So I'm just going to rename these layers according to what parts they are. So I know what to, where to put what. Um, this is the hand. This is the upper arm. Close. Upper. Foot. Oh, close. Forearm. Right, now, in order to parent something, all I have to do is drag timeline layers. Um, I want to parent the, arm, the hand onto the forearm, so I'll just drag hand onto four, and there... Um, you can see that when I've got the forearm selected, the hand is also selected, and I can select the hand by itself in the timeline. Uh, I want to do the same by putting the forearm onto the upper arm, just drag it on there, and now we have a hierarchy of three objects. Now, this, um, this hierarchy needs a little bit more setting up, because at the moment the joints are all in the center of the scene, and that's where the, the pivot point uh, appears on an object by default. So what I want to do is move these pivot points. And to do that, um, I will use this pivot tool here at the bottom of the tools toolbar there. So click on that. And first of all, I want to set the pivot for the hand. And I want that to be on the wrist, so I'm just going to click where the wrist is. I can drag this pivot point around, um, or I can just click where I want it. Um, next is the forearm. I'll put the, the pivot point for the forearm on the elbow and then finally the upper arm where the pivot point will be on the shoulder so now if I select these objects you can see they're parented uh, I select the upper arm and move it around their hand and the forearm follow and this is called oops, this is called forward kinematics or FK animation you're uh, moving you're animating segments uh, one piece at a time uh, to, to get things into poses so if, uh, if if this arm starts down in a fairly natural pose, if you can ignore the fact that the fingers are all splayed out for a sec, um, I'll go to frame 10 and lift the arm. I'll drag the hand back a bit. And then finally pull the, forearm, uh, the upper arm down a bit, forearm up and the hand up. So, and I'll settle the whole lot down a bit. So 
So this is a very popular style because, as you can see, it took me literally seconds to draw those admittedly crude um, pieces. But uh, once uh, once that's drawn, animation takes no time at all. It's just a matter of moving this stuff around. So that's forward kinematics. I'm going to introduce you to IK in a minute, which um, in the next video, which is the process of uh, rigging up the bones so that rather than moving individual segments like this, um, we can pull on just the extremities, such as the hand and the and and the feet, or you know whatever else is rigged up. Um, you can pull on those those end bits, and the whole chain will follow. Uh, for example, entire characters can be moved around and led around by one arm or one foot, which can be handy. So, see you in the next video.